going to talk about uh, a small feature that we launched recently of one to one relationships in this now right uh, so graphical engine currently uh, handles the most common uh, data modeling uh, relationships you have if you have like one to many many to one or many to many they usually handle quite well but uh, slightly uncommon but uh, useful modeling that graphical engine uh, prior to alpha 11 did not handle which is one to one relationships so uh, one of the use cases where you would see this is imagine you have a table and there are a large number of columns and over time let's say the table becomes really large with a lot of nullable columns you typically want to like split this table up into multiple tables and but at the same time you do not want to lose the kind of uh, guarantee that you had with a single table the kind of uh, data integrity guarantees so like one way you would want to do that is the simple strategy would be let's say i'm extending user with the user detail table with an extra column uh, one simple strategy would be to like reference the user id but this kind of uh, is is not great because you could have multiple user details for a single user and that's not something that we want so a quick work around uh, a quick way to solve that is to have a unique constraint on the user id at which point uh, you might as well remove the id and just use the user id itself as a primary key but at the same time it also references user id so this is like this table and with this table like you do, you want to establish one to one relationship between the user and user detail and prior to alpha 11 what a uh, graphql engine couldn't handle this so if the cons if the console sees uh, these two tables user and user detail you would see an array relationship from user to user detail and you would see a object relationship from user detail to user which is correct but so array relationship is not something that's as per your uh, table modeling, right? Ideally, even in the graphical schema, you want to see a one-to-one -one relationship between these two tables. Uh, so we've added this uh, little uh, feature where you can do this. I'm just gonna quickly demo that. All right, I have these tables on this particular database. I'm just gonna track all. Once I have this, uh, you can see that the console now infers one-to-one -one relationship from user to user detail. You see an object relationship and from user detail to user. Again, you see an object relationship. This was not, uh, this wasn't the case earlier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and track all. Right, so what does this, uh, what does this bring us? So I'm just gonna, Right. The advantages are, first thing would be a better uh, response shape. Previously, user detail, you would see an array of these things, but now as appropriate, you would see an object. And then because user detail is now an object relationship, you can use it in ordering. So you can use complex ordering clauses, like you can order user by user details location. And similarly, even you can, you can use this in filtering. So all of these are, uh, all of these automatically like, improve the API because it's an object relationship. And at the same time, uh, uh, even like when it comes to mutations. So if you want to insert into uh, the user table along with the user detail in a relational insert, that becomes possible. And this also like becomes possible from the other way that is even from the user detail, you can insert the user data uh, directly. So all of these uh, API improvements become possible. Uh, so that's that's one-to-one -one relationship.